This product has five buttons. This is LT button. Short press it to enter LT mode. And short press it again to exit. This is view button. Under each mode, short press it to switch other information. And under setting mode, short press it to switch to the setting items. This is barrel button. Short press it to enter barometer mode. Short press it again to exit. This is a history and set button. Short press it to enter fishing pressure mode. Short press it again to exit. This is light and lock button. Short press it to start backlight. The darker the surrounding is, the brighter the light will be. Under every mode, except time mode, long press it 2 seconds to lock current mode. Ultimate mode, for example, firstly, short press LT button, long press lock button for 2 seconds. And there will be a small lock icon on the right corner of the screen. Under lock mode, it will not exit if there is no operation. Long press it 2 seconds again to exit. After that, short press LT button to go back to time mode. Long press light button for 5 seconds to restart a unit. The upper part displays week. The middle part displays time. Hour, minute. The left side of the lower part displays function icon. The first function, grading fission tips. If current pressure is higher than fission pressure, the fish icon will display on the screen. If not, the fish icon will disappear. When display no fish, it's bad fishing. If display one fish, it's good fishing. Two fishes, great fishing. Three fishes, super good fishing. Now, there are two fishes, which indicates that the current great fishing tip is great fishing. The right side of the lower part is place date. The second function icon indicates history data mode. The third icon indicates bromide mode. The last one indicates ultimate mode. The top right corner displays weather forecast. The top left corner displays air pressure change arrow. Under time mode, long press set button 2 seconds to enter setting mode. The weather icon will flash. Short press view button to switch to setting items. Short press LZ button to increase data. Short press barrel button to decrease data. Now we are setting weather forecast data. Short press LT button or barrel button to switch between four weather icons. After that, short press view button to set the 10 display mode.
press LT button or barrel button to choose 24 hours 10 display mode or 12 hours 10 display mode. After that, show the press view button to set time. The hour begins to flash. Press LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data. And press view button to switch to minute. And in the same way, press LT or barrel to increase or decrease data. After that, press view button to set a year, month, day. The year begins to flash. In the same way, press LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data. Press view button to switch to next setting item. After that, press view button to set temperature unit. Press LT button or barrel button to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. After that, Press view button to set air pressure unit. Press LT button or barrel button to switch. After that, press view button to set height unit. Press the LT button or barrel button to switch between meter and feet. After that, press the view button to set sea level altitude. Before setting, you will need to refer to your local altitude value on internet. And in the same way, press the LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data. Press view button to switch between items. After that, press the view button to set suitable fission pressure. Suitable fission pressure is a critical value between good fission pressure and not good fission pressure. You can set different value according to your location. When current pressure is higher than suitable fission pressure, the lower left part of the screen will display fish icons. And the default suitable fission pressure value is 1200 bar. Now, we are providing suitable fission pressure value and a different sea level altitude for your reference. And in the same way, press the view button to switch items. Press LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data. After that, long press set button to save and exit setting mode. Under setting mode, if there is no operation 30 seconds, it will save the current data and go back to time mode automatically.
under Tan mode. Short press barrel button to enter Bromit mode. Under Bromit mode, long press lock button for 2 seconds to lock the screen. This is weather forecast. This is air pressure change chart. This is air pressure change arrow. This is current air pressure. And this part can display sea level air pressure, temperature, and a suitable fission air pressure. Press view button to check. This is temperature. This is suitable fission air pressure. This is sea level air pressure. These are function icons. Because we are now under Bromit mode, they will display Bromit icon. Under Bromit mode, shut press history button to enter 3 days history pressure record mode. Under 3 days history pressure record mode, the history icon will flash. This is air pressure change chart. This is weather forecast. This is date. And this is the history pressure of that date. Shut press LT button or barrel button to switch different date. On the history pressure record mode, press view button to check the maximum or minimum pressure value and the temperature. Now you are seeing maximum pressure value and maximum temperature. This is maximum pressure value. This is maximum temperature. Press view button again. This is minimum pressure value and minimum temperature. After that, shut press the history button to go back to time mode. Under Tan mode, shut press Set button to enter Fission Place Pressure Record mode. This is Fission Place code, and 6 groups in total. This is the Fission Place pressure. This is what depth record. And press View button to see more information. This is suitable efficient air pressure. This is record time. This is water depth. Short press LT button or barrel button to switch different fishing place. Short press set button to exit and go back to time mode. Before using the fission place pressure checking function, you will need to save an initial air pressure value when you go fishing with this watch for the first time. Short press barrel button to enter Bromit mode. And the long press view button 2 seconds. The pressure value will flash.
Shot press barrel button to choose fission place code. There are six codes in total. And we take the first one for example. And press view button to save the pressure value. After that, short press set button to go back to time mode. If you want to cancel the operation, press set button to go to ultimate mode. And press LT button to go back to time mode. Under time mode, short press set button to enter fission place pressure record mode. Press LT button or barrel button to choose fission place. Take the first fission place for example. Long press set button. The water depth begins to flash. Press LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data. Press view button to switch setting items. The default depth unit is meter. After that, long press set button to go back to fission place pressure record mode. The data will save automatically. After initial pressure value is recorded, and go back to usual steam places, such as home and office, you can link fission place based on the following method. On the fission place pressure record mode, long press barrel button to link fission place with the usual stay in place. On the fission place tracking mode, this is tracking pressure. This is checked fission place code. This is pressure chain arrow. This is pressure chain chart. After linking operation, press set button to go back to time mode. As the fission place is linked, you can see the tracking result by the following ways. On the time mode, short press history button to enter fission place tracking mode. Press LT button or barrel button to choose fission place. and the short press view button to check fission place code, suitable fission pressure, water depth. This is the suitable fission pressure. This is the water depth. This is the fission place code. Short press set button to exit fission place tracking mode and go back to time mode. Under time mode, short press set button to enter fission place record mode or fission place tracking mode. Long press view button to switch between these two modes. Now it is fission place tracking mode. Long press view button to switch to fission place record mode. After that, press set button to go back to time mode. Under time mode, short press LT button to enter altimeter mode. This is altitude trend arrow. This is the weather forecast. This is the relative altitude. This is altitude unit, meter. This is sea level altitude. 
these are functions icon. Because we are now on the LT mid mode, the LT icon appears on the screen. Press view button to see sea level altitude. Temperature. Current time. Relative altitude function. Long press set button to claim zero relative altitude and begin to measure. Press LT button to exit LT mid mode and go back to time mode. On the time mode, press view button to enter countdown timer mode. This is the time to count down. Hour minute and this is second this T is countdown timer icon this is weather forecast on the countdown timer mode long press set button to set countdown timer the hour begins to flash press LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data and press view button to switch to minute after that long press set button to save and go back to countdown timer mode short press LT button to start or stop the timer When cancel over, it will give alarm for 30 seconds. Press any button to stop alarm. Press view button twice to go back to time mode. Under time mode, short press view button to enter countdown timer mode. Long press set button to enter countdown timer setting mode. Short press view button twice to enter casting frequency management function. The top of the screen displays T1. Press LT button or barrel button to turn on or turn off casting frequency management function. And there will be a small bell icon on the right corner of the screen when the function is on. Press view button to set casting time. The minute begins to flash. Press LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data. Press view button again to switch to second. When the casting time is over, it will give alarm. After setting, long press set button to save and exit. Press view button twice to go back to time mode. On the time mode, long press view button to turn on casting frequency management function quickly. And 
they will display a small bell icon on the right corner of the screen. Long press view button to turn off. In addition, when casting frequency function is on, the fishing place pressure function will be shielded. You will need to turn off casting frequency function before using fishing place pressure mode. When casting frequency function is on, the power consumption level is higher. So, if there is no operation in 3 hours, the casting frequency function will turn off automatically. Under time mode, press view button twice to enter alarm clock mode. Under alarm clock mode, the middle of the screen displays alarm clock time. This is alarm clock icon. This is alarm clock status. Under alarm clock mode, long press set button to set alarm clock. The alarm clock status icon begins to flash. Press LT button or barrel button to turn on or turn off. Press view button to switch items. Hour. Minute. Press LT button or barrel button to increase or decrease data. After setting, long press set button to go back to time mode. The right corner of the screen will display a small bell icon when the alarm clock is on and the clock will give alarm for 30 seconds. The small bell icon will flash if alarm clock and the casting frequency function are both on. You can alarm press view button to turn off casting timer. Please keep the watch clean and dry when replace battery. There is a groove on the back cover. You can use a coin to open it. In counterclockwise direction. And there is a groove by the battery too. You can use a knife or things like that to take the battery out and refill the new battery. After that, screw the back cover tightly as per the arrow direction.